Jupyter Multipurpose Responsive Theme for WordPress Review by Renke In this video session, I'm going to review the theme Jupyter and show you how it actually works at the basic level as well, okay? Now, in terms of WordPress themes, Jupyter is actually popular. It's priced according to most premium theme licenses. The authors are Artbees and they've been you know, tweaking and changing Jupyter theme for a while now. And in 2018, in terms of mobile responsive themes, Jupyter is right up there amongst others. Okay? You can purchase it through Theme Forest and the price, as I've said, is reasonable compared to other WordPress premium themes. Once you purchase it, you can download the parent and now in 2018 they actually do have bare minimum child theme whereby if you're a developer and understand how to customize themes, you can actually build upon it. And installing a theme is a straightforward process. It's just a matter of uploading the theme, but you can, through Theme Forest, actually get a service to install the theme for you if you're not familiar with installing WordPress sites, okay? Now, I actually work on Jupyter, and I actually use Jupyter. That doesn't mean I haven't used others. I've used many, many different WordPress themes throughout the, year, the years that I've been working in WordPress optimization. This is a WordPress Jupyter theme firing this website. And as you can see, it does look modern. It is mobile responsive as well. You can see it'll render according to the mobile device width. On Rank SEO Service site, I actually use Jupyter theme. This is recently updated, so I really haven't optimized it. So if you look at the code and so on, and you think, oh, that's not optimized, and you're an SEO specialist, don't be alarmed that's in the pipeline to be optimized. But as you can see, having a website, as in creating a website using Jupyter theme like this, is actually a straightforward process. So let's go and take a look at the, the backend of a Jupyter theme. So once you install the plugin, activate it, and register your product, you'll have the specific menu option for Jupyter. Now, to be able to actually utilize Jupyter, you have two options. One, you can actually, okay, let's look at yeah, templates here. Yeah, Jupyter theme does have plenty of pre-made templates for you to quickly browse through. You can select different categories depending on the type of WordPress site you'll be building. And then it's just a matter of installing that template. Now, remember, this is for a brand new setup because everything else will change if you already have things in there. Because as you know, with WordPress, updating themes, it's just a matter of pressing appearance, themes, and then you can add new. Okay, or you can surely do <laughs> what you can do. Let's say add new. Here you can actually go to WordPress depository and install any theme with a click of a button, right? And when you choose a theme from WordPress depository, it's all free for you. And yet Jupyter theme is a paid theme. It's a premium theme. But for the investment that you'll be making using any premium theme is actually smart because they are priced around 50 60 70 dollars usually and to build a theme like this from ground up it will cost thousands upon thousands of dollars because premium themes are designed by many different developers so you can actually go to appearance press on themes and customize a the theme right from here but remember that's different in a sense you'll be customizing the front end of the theme okay? whereby you can change site identity menus widgets and all that stuff 
including additional CSS right from the themes options here, from the dashboard. And yet the menu link here, then you can do many, many different things. You can watch video tutorials as to how, how to customize it, or if you run into issues, you can check out frequently asked questions. Once again, you need to register the product using your purchase key. As I've said, templates is straightforward process and this is actually good if you've never built websites and it's a brand new site that you're building. You can simply select which one you like, you may perhaps preview it to see how that theme will look. Let's imagine I want a website similar to this. And th that looks like a new commerce site and looks reasonable at this level, right? Then I can just say, okay, you know what? I'm happy with that. I can press on install. And they do have Photoshop templates for you as well, okay? Now, it says, you know what? There are required plugins. Now, don't be fooled by these required plugins using Jupyter theme because some of them you may not need for your particular setup. If so, don't use it. As you can see, I've only activated the Visual Composer and Contact Form 7. Here, you I'm not going to explore each option here, but just to tell you, you know what? You can import, export. That means, let's imagine you're building a new website and a couple of days later, you thought, you know what? I made a lot of changes. Simply export theme settings that you've customized. And once you register your product, you'll also be able to update it. Here it says, you know what, there is an update. Let's download that because I actually haven't updated that part of it. So the update is downloading. Once that's downloaded, you'll be able to update that folder into your web hosting. Okay. Now let's press on theme options because this is obviously very important and you'll definitely use it if you end up installing the Jupyter theme. Here you can customize the colors, choose responsive images, retina images. It also has SVG support, scalable vector graphics support. You can easily change your logo. There is a quick contact. I tend to not enable that because I think for my setup, I don't need it, okay? We also have, have API integration whereby, you know what, if you're using, let's say, MailChimp, subscription um, growth and so on, you can install the API key right there, list ID, and a few clicks using Jupyter theme, you'll be able to actually do great things for your website. Then we have the main content. This is all to do with how your theme will look whereby through here, you can customize many different things. And here they have ad advanced, now speed optimization, you can have these enabled, no problems. Jupyter theme has that by default, whereby if the theme didn't have it, you may need to use plugins to accomplish, you know, minifying styles or JavaScript code and so on. Once again, you can then export the theme options whereby you can simply highlight everything copy keep a local backup and then say okay you know what this is the theme options that i have customized and then you can anytime import by pasting that same code in there and all the changes you've made will be back on your website they do have custom post types here. You may be able to um, select some of them if you're using perhaps clients, photo album, post type. So these are custom post types, which is actually great to have for a typical WordPress site. Now, in 2018, they've actually introduced the header builder. Now I've explored it briefly, but I have not fully explored it. And as you can see, it's just a matter of pressing on this element. Let's say you want to have a row there. 
or a let's say navigation then it's just a matter of populating these details and changing the header settings and so on and we have some pre-made templates you can press on that and as you can see things will change okay i actually haven't explored this because for me i actually don't use things like this but nonetheless that option to customize your templates using header builder is actually a great option now let's take a look at pages now once you install visual composer let's add new page here using visual composer you'll be able to do great things using visual composer is actually a straightforward process let's do backend editor here you can add elements let's imagine you want to add a row within that you'll be able to add text blocks if you want let's save changes and you can create different settings according to that row have different backgrounds if you want you can add page sections which are fully customizable so if you want to have let's imagine a video background that is taking the whole screen up as we're seeing it now you can actually accomplish that using the page section let's press on edit here it'll give you different layout options alignments background image including a video so you can choose a YouTube video if you have one or self-hosted video and so on which I think they actually look great you can customize the templates there are template libraries you can access that is for visual composer okay now remember visual composer comes as a plugin with your Jupyter theme purchase and although you don't need to use it to be able to take advantage of Jupyter theme you will actually need to use it because without it you'll be then left with a very basic website which you don't want okay so at the end of the day you're reviewing jupiter by rankia was a result of many rankia fans asking you know what should i choose jupiter theme now having said all this jupiter theme as far as rankia is concerned is actually a great plugin but it does have a couple of drawbacks and the drawbacks that it has is actually the coding of it in terms of structured data now when i say drawbacks coding of it this theme compared to many others is actually coded really great so let's clear that out right but in terms of structured data if you were to install this theme what will happen is if you're using google search console under structured data reports you'll end up seeing many errors because they have coded the theme structured data not correctly now to resolve that you can actually have an option in terms of using child theme which i'm thinking of making that available as well for a small fee if you're interested because i think my child theme is actually better now while here remember this if you're building a brand new website let's imagine you've got a brand new domain you think you know what i'm going to use jupiter theme. if that's the case pause this video and take a look at what i've just highlighted on the screen that you can insert into .hdxs file of your installation because once you insert this code see this one here then google will not index your site while you're working on it that's actually smart for a brand new website setup but if you're just going to change the current theme that you're using then it's just matter of installing Jupyter theme makes sense and then make changes accordingly at the end of the day Rankia recommends using Jupyter theme because in terms of many many different WordPress themes I actually do enjoy using Jupyter theme. 
I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do like it and share it. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.